I'ma tell you why you can't Said you got a long way to go Say you wanna love me You wanna touch me Don't twice cause you got a long way to go Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be doing another video on wallpaper, wallpaper creation. And this one will be wallpaper creation number 5. And basically today I'm going to do a video on this wallpaper that you see here. Um, this is one of my favorites. Uh, it's like a spray painted wallpaper if you couldn't tell already. Um, and it's pretty cool. I really like it. I got some cool feedback back on my website. And um, it's pretty easy. Put some shapes in there. Some text. Uh, really cool, uh, uh, what is this, emotion face thing right here. Um, so it's pretty cool, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this, and where to download some of the, the uh, brushes and text you may need for this video. So, first off, head into Photoshop, and the wallpaper I like to use, the preset, is 1440 by 900 So press OK. And what we're gonna do is start off by giving it a gradient. And the gradient we're going to use, if you don't have these gradients, you can go download it on my website at mikesdesigns.ning.com. And we're going to select silver 10. And we're going to bring it down. So hold shift and bring it down, just like that. And we're going to use that, just like that. So what we're going to do is go back into our web browser, go into Google. And we're going to type in Photoshop brushes. So just in case if you guys don't know how to download or where to download brushes, all you have to do is a little search and you guys will find what you need. So um, first two options, the best ones that I've used so far on BrushEasy.com and my Photoshop brushes. So I'm going to head over to BrushEasy.com first. You can also find brushes on uh, DeviantArt.com. So, you know, just letting you guys know. Alright, so I'm going to select my brush, brushes uh, tab up here. And uh, I think this looked like something I downloaded. Semi ink splatter. Um, uh, this looks alright. I guess I could use this. Um, so yeah, I'll link this up in the video description. So just download it. And as you can see, it downloads quick. And uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to quickly copy that into my documents folder because I have to extract it I don't feel like doing all that alright so after it's extracted uh, remember the name of it and go back into Photoshop what we're gonna do is select the brushes uh, tool right there if you don't see that just hold um, just right click on it and you should select brushes then head over to the brushes uh, menu right there and select that little option with the little arrow and select load photoshop brushes or load brushes and if you remember I saved it in my documents so select the ink splatter brush right there and it should be at the very bottom and uh, here they are so I'm gonna use something like this so it looks pretty good pretty good already so make sure you create a new layer so control shift N and you can name it if you want so so I'm using the bracket keys right next to the letter P key, so you can resize it doing that instead of con um, free transform tool. So doing that, that looks pretty cool already. So that looks cool. And uh, I see something. This is one of my other brushes I have, but I'm gonna kind of use that one as well. It's like it's more splattered paint brushes. And I'm just gonna put that right there, just like that. Alright, so if you all notice that I didn't make separate layers for all these brushes, I'll, all, I'll put them all in one. But if you're doing a multicolor paint splatter effect, you can, you might want to make sure each uh, paint splatter brush you put on the um, new layer, you might want to make more than one layer so you can edit and colorize um, the brushes. Or you can probably most likely manually do it, selecting the magic wand tool and selecting certain uh paint splatters to edit and put it into color that way so that's you know just one option i'm just letting you guys know of so i'm just going to drop the opacity to about maybe 25 all right 25 looks good so next we're going to head over to defont.com and what you're going to want to download is 
Amazon.com. And you want to head over to the thing that uh, options over here and select. Uh, uh, let me see what is this heads, I believe. And you're gonna select that first one right here where it says DIST Yokes Emotion and select that one and just download it and install it. If you don't know how to um, install fonts, just head over to my other videos and how to download and install fonts. So once you get that font, um, you're gonna want to select it in your text tool and uh, just have a lot of fonts here. So gotta find it. Alright, so apparently can't find it right now. So I'll just type it in. Disk motions. There we go. Alright, so the one I'm gonna use is letter A with the paint spider one. Just control sh sh um treat uh excuse me, free transform. Uh, I'm just gonna resize it just like that. And next what I'm gonna do, this looks pretty big. Um, select my text tool again and the font I like to use is Disco Disco what is it called? Uh, so what a D oops Sorry about that, you guys. Make sure you you always select the text tool and make sure it's not selected. And then do that again. All right. So I'm just gonna select that really quick because I'm taking too much time trying to find some fonts. And I'm typing my designs. For this, I'm just gonna uh, not even make separate things because I don't feel like doing that right now. So I'm put it right there select my shape tool and I'm just gonna drag out something simple uh, I'll just draw out some sh random shape something like that and I'm gonna drop the opacity on that maybe to about 50 alright so I'm double click on my designs no I'm double click on that uh, the little head thingy we have here and I'm just gonna zoom in for you guys so you can see what I'm doing I'm gonna give it a drop shadow so just click on that you don't have to edit anything right now for whatever reason and uh give it a stroke and the stroke I'm gonna give it is a gradient I personally made uh you can make this yourself it's like a red red and blue type gradient and you can leave the stroke at whatever it is right there at three and uh drop shadow looks a little off so press ok on that i don't know why it's not letting me do a drop shadow though so try that again there we go just increase the size of it just like that cool so what we're going to do now is copy that layer style we're going to paste it onto the mic's designs and the shape layer so shift click on those and paste the layer style and uh, what we're going to do is well pretty much we're done this is kind of like the steps I've went through it's not the exact same thing but you pretty get pretty much get the concept of what I was doing um, now if the strokes look too big you can always go back double click on the layer and edit the stroke and uh, change it to about maybe two and you can do that for the, uh, for the shape layer change the stroke to about two or one two or one it's good and you're pretty much done so uh thanks for watching this video this will this is a video for wallpaper creation number five so thanks for watching you guys i hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions just email me at mike mikey's designs at gmail.com and if anything, head over to my website at mikesdesigns.com for all your Photoshop questions, tips, and tutorials. There's a few other people there that's willing to help you and give you some feedback if you need it. So, thanks you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.